to be back on that ice, I said, I love the attention to detail. You didn't have a letter on your sweater. It takes you all the way back. How fond are those memories, though, considering 25 years ago? Oh, we still some great memories, some great stories uh, being shared with all the guys, and it was great to see everyone again. So we, we had a blast uh, last night. Who holds court? Like, who makes you guys all laugh when you're all together behind the scenes like uh, this? Different guys. You know, Vernie, Mike Vernon, uh, you know, he still cracks us up. Uh, Kevin Hodson, for sure. Uh, so a lot of guys, you know, especially talking about some of the old stories that we had through and, and uh, just going through that, it's been a lot of fun. You weren't exactly a, a wily old vet when that 97 run was happening. You were one of the young guys, really, who had, was making a name for himself. Do you feel different when you're around these guys now after you've established your Hall of Fame career? Is it, did you put a different <laughs> hat on? Uh, I think you kind of go back to where you were, you know, in 97. You know, you, you we all feel older now, but yeah. uh, kind of still have our roles uh, on the team. and. and uh, but just the, the joy itself of being back with the guys is, is so much fun. The beauty of that team photo, and you guys put the, the cup in, in Vladdy's hands, did you look over and, and maybe just smile at, at, at that moment, knowing how he's still such a big part of this group? Yeah, no, he, he is a real big part of our group, and still got memories from him being on the ice in Washington there and, and getting a cup in his lap when he's sitting in his wheelchair. Uh, so you know, it's great to see him again, and I see uh, the smile on his face too, seeing everyone, it's been a lot of fun. Where we are in this world, I think sometimes about the leadership that you guys have had between you, Steve, Henrik Zetterberg over the years. You guys don't seek attention. It's not like you came over to me and said, when are you going to interview me here? Uh, Steve's the same way. You guys don't seek the attention. But here you are now building that next generation of Red Wings. What does it say about the culture that you guys won with and that you're trying to, again, win with here? Well, I think that's something Steve has set up uh, as, as, as our leader. You know, when I first joined the Wings, him being a captain and just... You know his determination of you know wanting to win and, and wanting to to be a you know, a leader on our team has really showed uh, her, taught me a lot and I think it taught uh, taught Henrik Sederberg the same thing that what it really means to you know to be a leader and what it takes to winning as well. When we looked up at camp, I got to tell you, you guys all had the black jackets on in Traverse City. It it looked like Ocean's Eleven type of deal or some sort of <laughs> secret society of just to be frank, badasses. Do you look around sometimes and go, oh, there's Steve, there's Chris Draper, Mr. Selkie himself, and all the cup rings, and look, say, we've got a pretty impressive group running things here. If we can get these things over the hump, we got something pretty cool. Yeah, no, first of all, it feels great to be back with, with, with the guys again. You know, you, you had so many fond memories of playing together, and now we're, we're all part of management, trying to, to take the next step uh, with the team. So it, it's been a lot of fun uh, being part of that again.